Hi, this is Don again on YouTube. Uh, at, at the start of this, I was figuring it would probably take six videos to um, complete what I had to say, but I think I'm going to end it at, at this one here, the fifth fifth video and just kind of tie up some loose ends. I think I, I've already given my contribution to to uh, calendar studies. I don't I don't have to go any further. You know, the 3D math is my contribution. I haven't seen anyone else uh, with that viewpoint. You know, the Sulphic cycle and Deccans and all that stuff. Uh, there's a lot, many of you out there that know all about this stuff. Uh, it's nothing new, but I, I believe my 3D math is a new concept in Bible study. You know, I, I've read a lot of uh, volumes about Genesis, and I've never seen anybody... With, with that idea. But what I'd like to suggest is if you'd like to actually do a more in-depth study of the Bible, uh, there's an author, Gary A. Rensberg. And this volume in particular, which he co-wrote with Cyrus H. Gordon, it's called The Bible and the ancient Near East. Gary's also wrote a number of other volumes, the redaction of Genesis. I mean, he's just a top-notch scholar on the Bible, and uh, that's where I get a lot of my other ideas from. Uh, you know, like in uh, Shem, the ten generations of Shem, you know, that includes uh, the patriarchs, uh, Jacob, Abraham, and Isaac. But the first seven generations <coughs> in the Masoretic text, they uh, shortened the years by a hundred years each. So whereas it used to be 135, 130, 134, and so on. They reduced it to like 35 plus 34 plus 32. And the reason I think they did that, you know, from reading Rensburg, I get this notion that, uh, you know, all, all of the history in the Old Testament has to fit in between the period of the Armana Age in, in Egypt and the Hellenistic Age. Uh, you know, starting with uh, Alexander the Great. So uh, you have to shorten up those years <laughs> in the uh, in the Septuagint. It seems like there's an earlier version of Genesis that has the the longer year period, but. If you use that time scale, uh, it's going to shoot over. You know, it's not going to fit into the the actual time frame of when events were supposed to have occurred. So, if you want to get more insights into that, you, you probably want to read this this volume, the Bible in the Ancient Near East, which is quite good. <laughs> it's it takes a lot of concentration to understand everything that's brought forth there, but uh, it's well worth the time. So instead of plugging my own, uh, <laughs> I don't have a book or anything. Uh, uh, at this time, but uh, I just wanted to, to just kind of give you some more another opportunity to uh, learn more if, if this subject interests you and it kind of makes more sense than what you've uh, been told in the past then by all means go for even further elucidation from other sources 
I highly, I highly recommend uh, Gordon and, and Rendsburg as top scholars on, on the uh, subject of the Bible and calendars and things. And uh, in particular, the P, the P docs. You know, look for that in the redaction of Genesis. Uh, which explains uh, the calendar system used by the priests. It's all good information. Uh, you'll you'll benefit greatly if you uh, take some time and and seek out those titles that I just mentioned. Thank you. Bye.